Welcome to the Military One Source podcast. Military One Source is an official program of the Defense Department with tools, information, and resources to help families navigate all aspects of military life. For more information, visit militaryonesource.mil. Welcome to the podcast. I'm Bruce Moody. Military families move a lot, and when they move, they bring along their stuff. So we're going to talk about moving your stuff in today's episode. Uh, we're joined with a member of the Defense Personal Property Management Office, and uh, they have uh, something new called the Global Household Goods Contract. We'll be calling it GHC over time in this episode, but we'll get there uh, with our guest, who is Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Cody Honeycutt. Colonel, welcome to the podcast, and can you tell me a little bit about what you do? You're with Transcom, am I correct? That's correct. Yeah, so I've been with the Transcom team for a little over two years. My AFSC, if you will, uh, what I do for the Air Force is logistics readiness, and I came to the Transcom team with about three years of personal property experience. Prior to that, I was a GIPSO commander, a joint personal property shipping office commander at South Central, which is in San Antonio, Texas. So that brought me up to the staff. Uh, where I've been. And I started out as chief of training and initiatives. Um, and now my role is GHC transition lead. Yeah, it does take all of these offices, all these activities to get people's stuff from A to B. It's uh, quite a challenge. So we're glad to have you with us today. And also thank you for undoing those acronyms. We try to make it easy for folks and uh, that certainly helps. So let's just get straight to it. And if you would go ahead and tell us what is the Global Household Goods Contract? So uh, we have a lot of reform efforts uh, in the Department of Defense to try and get after, as you said, the moving experience for um, the Department of Defense and Coast Guard and personnel and their families. And so Global Household Goods Contract, as you said, GHC, is that kind of main aspect to improve the relocation experience. So what it is, is it's Home Safe Alliance is the company who won the, the award They'll be serving as a single move manager for the program, and they'll oversee all of the moving companies that are kind of the subcontractors to them that will be packing, shipping, and delivering uh, personal property uh, all across the globe. And so under GHC, as I mentioned, HomeSafe, they're going to be the primary contact for the scheduling and the conducting of the move. The DOD, we still serve as the, the oversight for all of their work. And again, at the local level, the transportation offices will still be primary point of contact for all the customers to ensure that you know they're getting a quality move for their, uh, for their relocation experience. What are some of the key benefits moving customers can expect with a GHC shipment? Yeah, so um, the new th the new program and what we like to say that we focus on providing in the new program is quality, on time packing, shipping, and delivery uh, of personal property, modern digital tools to improve communication, and a streamlined process for settling claims should there be any kind of damage, loss, or inconvenience in the move. So. Again, you know, the, the biggest focus for us has been to improve the quality that they get the movers in the home um, and that packing experience and the delivery of their property. And those digital tools to help communication, that's just going to allow us to uh, have a single point of contact to reach out to if there's any issues with their move. And then again, at the end, you know, the streamlining of the claims process, that's a huge deal because sometimes the, the claims process, if there is one, is kind of this long drawn out back and forth. We're looking to kind of move that into a very streamlined process that allows the customer just to interface with, with one organization and, and look to settle the claim as quickly as possible. And of course, meet the expectation uh, of the customers on the, uh, on the claims process. Interesting. So when and where will GHC start? The transition to the shipments will occur over multiple phases during the next two years. Uh, we're going to start with domestic or shipments in the continental United States with a hand-selected group of PCS orders. So yeah, well, the services in conjunction with uh, Transcom will reach out to some, some customers and pick some members to uh, participate in those initial moves. Then early in 2024, we'll look to increase the volume of our CONUS shipments. Kind of, we'll do like a month by month approach. And as we feel comfortable with the systems and the installation readiness, we'll bring on some more shipments in some more locations. Then after we finish the CONUS shipments, uh, we plan on moving a small group of uh, hand-selected international shipments starting in the fall of 2024 uh, with the goal of early 2025, increasing the volume of 
overseas international shipments uh, under GHC each month, kind of similar to the way we're doing the domestic piece. During the, the two-year phase in, only select shipments will move under GHC at any given time. If your shipment's not selected, uh, you will continue to move under the legacy program, uh, the tender of service as it's known today, uh, and you'll work with an assigned moving company uh, outside of the home safe organization. How is a military family to know if their shipment will be moved under GHC? Customers will start out by visiting militaryonesource.mil with a, you know, slash personal property. They'll click on the defense personal property system or DPS link, and they'll be asked a series of questions to determine if the move will be carried out under GHC or the legacy program. If your shipment is selected to move under GHC, you will see two new online systems that you'll be working out of. MillMove, uh, which is the government system, and HomeSafe Connect, which is the contractor's uh, system, you would be using both of those instead of DPS. These new user-friendly systems will provide the opportunity for customers to oversee their move in a brand new way, making it easier than ever before to request, track, manage, um, just oversee the shipment in general. Unlike DPS, both systems can be accessed using either the desktop or the handheld device, uh, making it much more convenient. I, you know, i.e. moving to the mobile platforms is is much more convenient to all of our customers. We have a fact sheet called Scheduling a GHC Shipment that you can read about on Military One Source uh, to learn more about using those new systems and to request and manage your shipments. And the link you just referred to on Military One Source, we'll put that in the program notes. Interestingly, we've been working very carefully with Transcom and putting a lot of information about moving personal property. And you can find it all at that link. So in addition to the GHC, that which we're talking about today, you can find all manner of others stuff. But will the DOD be involved in the moving process and monitor home safe's performance? Yes, that's one thing that we, you know, we want the customers to be aware of that the DOD will be a, a large part of the moving process with Transcom and the services conducting uh, numerous roles under GHC. And those folks will be responsible for reviewing and approving moving requests, sharing information through counseling, monitoring home safe's performance on a daily basis, preparing monthly performance assessments, helping resolve issues at the local uh, installation level. And I would say, you know, as always, we, we tell all the customers, you're encouraged to reach out to your local transportation office uh, if you have any questions or need any assistance during your move. So, yeah, we're going to continue that. But I would say we'll probably take it up uh, another level. So, yeah, we're looking forward to ensuring that HomeSafe performs at the level that we expect them to. And if something does go uh, awry, that we can be there to uh, make sure we make note of it. So to follow up then, how would a military family share their feedback with their moving experiences under a GHC? Much like the current tender of service program uh, where they have the CSS or the customer satisfaction survey, we'll continue to utilize that survey to gather feedback on the move from HomeSafe as well as its network of moving providers. Uh, surveys will also serve as a way to assess the support that you receive from the government offices that, have, that were also involved in your movement. The feedback has a direct impact on the quality of the program uh, and the providers that HomeSafe uses under GHC. So we really encourage all of our customers to complete the surveys in a timely manner and reach out to either HomeSafe customer care representatives or their local transportation office if they experience any problems during their during their move. But yeah, the, the survey is going to be uh, the customer's direct way to actually communicate that feedback. The contractor will get you know graded on the customer satisfaction surveys, and we're taking that as a huge part of our efforts to ensure that they're performing up to uh, the standards that we've set. So we're going to put another link in the program notes. This is one to Military one source dot mil and it's slash GHC. It's the page for the global household goods contact information page. Can you tell us a little bit about what one will find when they go to that page? Yeah. So if you visit the um, the GHC contract information page on Military One Source, you'll have fact sheets. You'll have a list of frequently asked questions. There'll be our phase in timeline updates. Uh, to where you can see kind of, you know, where locations will be turned on and kind of when. So customers can kind of anticipate when they might be moving. Um, a whole host of things available on Military One Source, not just GHC, but, you know, current program as well. But yeah, we're, we're looking to get all the GHC information in, in one place so that the customers have that one-stop shop so that they can get all they need. 
Got it. So my last question is that while you work for this organization, you're also a customer. You're a, an active duty service member. And I just would like your thoughts on what it means to move people's personal property. Yeah, so it's it's very interesting you, you mentioned that because when I get a chance to to tell folks about my background, I, I do kind of, you know, bring that exact point up. Um, so I'm a dual military family. Uh, my wife's a flight nurse. You know, I've been in the Air Force for going on 19 years. She's been in the Air Force for, you know, going on 16 years. We've moved uh, numerous times. Um, and so when you think about, you know, a household goods move uh, and you think about, you know, someone packing up all your items and moving them from, you know, say San Antonio to, to Scott Air Force Base, you want all that, all those items to get there in one piece because you don't want anything to, when you unpack, to be damaged or, or lost or, or completely destroyed. So, um, yeah, I, I like to let folks know that, we're very concerned about each and every uh, uh, move that takes place in the DOD, and we want them all to be what I would consider that that white glove treatment to where everybody can experience the highest level of service. And I think what the goal of, of GHC is, is to, is to get those customers uh, that high level of service, that quality move experience that they, that they deserve. We have a lot of things we have to worry about on our day-to-day -day normal jobs, and, and the, uh, the PCS shouldn't be one of them. So... I'm happy to be a part of the team that's bringing it across the finish line. Uh, and I certainly look forward to uh, getting my chance to test it out when it when it's our turn to move again. A pleasure to have you with us today. Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Cody Honeycutt with the Defense Personal Property Management Office at the United States Transportation Command. We appreciate you being with us today. Yeah, thank you for the invite. Um, I, I appreciate the time. As always, you know, we, we love to be able to provide any information we can, get it out to the customers. Yeah, so we really appreciate the, uh, the invite. Always great to have you on board. Thank you. And I uh, want to remind everybody that Military One Source is an official resource of the Defense Department. We want to hear from you. So click on the link in the program notes. Send us a, a note, a comment, a question, maybe an idea for a future episode. And be sure to subscribe to this podcast wherever you listen to your podcasts. Because we cover a wide range of topics that help military families navigate military life. I'm Bruce Moody. Thank you for listening. Take care. Bye-bye.